Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell. And um, some movies have the ability to actually change the way you look at other films. Um, I'm being a little bit vague here, but I'm going to get into it in a minute. Uh, but this is a film that did that for me. This is Wes Anderson's The Royal Tenenbaums. Got a minute? <gasps> what are you doing here? Uh, I need a favor. Here's the deal. I'll, I'll cop to it. I saw Bottle Rocket. I thought it was kind of cute. I saw Rushmore. Didn't get the noise. Almost didn't bother seeing Royal Tenenbaums because, you know, really his third film is going to be better than the first two. And I finally ended up going to see it with my dad, which actually probably helped because it's a film about fathers and sons to a great degree. And I got it. It was just this kind of blinding ray of light hit me. And all of a sudden, everything that had seemed sort of twee and ersatz and sentimental in the other films all of a sudden kind of fell into this context where there was a genuine sincerity to it all in spite of the art that I loved. And in fact, going back and watching those first films again, I actually saw them through new eyes and appreciated them and have thoroughly enjoyed Wes Anderson's output ever since. They were unlucky enough to be the children of a man named Royal Tenenbaum. He also stole bonds out of my safety deposit box when I was 14. Royal Tenenbaums is a, feels a little bit different from the first two and, and subsequent films in, in a lot of ways. It's, it, it does feel like a novel. It's about a New York family that is falling apart. Um, Gene Hackman is uh, the father of the husband who's kind of been exiled and is trying to work his way back into his family's good graces uh, and his ex-wife, played by Angelica Houston. And he is the center of the film. It's an amazing performance. He's, uh, he just, you know, it's Hackman, but it is one of those kind of uh, just sort of career capping performances. I'm having a ball, scrapping and yelling. He's, he's very believable, he's lovable, he's a rogue, he's a real scumbag, and yet you can, you can feel his desire to reconnect with his family. Yes, I am! Mixing it up. This scene right here, this this is, I think, my favorite scene in the film. And, and it goes to, I think, why I like the film so much. Because, again, for all the artifice, there's a real truth to it. Danny Glover plays Angelica Houston's new love interest. They're going to get married. He's a very sophisticated, scholarly gentleman who, you know, God knows where he came from. But he, he doesn't have an ounce of the streets to him. But what Gene Hackman sees when he sees him in the way that uh, certain white guys above a certain age just always do, no matter their intention, all he sees is a black guy who wants to marry his wife. And when he confronts Danny Glover, and he's trying to prove sort of how down and street he is, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. When he says to Glover, you want to talk jive to me? I talk jive. I just lose my shit every time. I could watch that scene a thousand times, and it will always be funny. 